You've hit the nail on the head. The reality for Ukraine is pushing Russia out of Ukraine doesn't end the war. It just signifies a victory for Ukraine and gives them the breathing room to potentially build up a system to defend themselves against future efforts of Russia. It also means that Russia would have depleted combat power that would take years to regenerate. But that doesn't mean Russia is going to stop being belligerent. There are multiple ways for Russia to disrupt Ukraine without having to even invade. They can conduct a buildup on the border of Ukraine to feint an invasion, which would require Ukraine to conduct their own mobilization, which would disrupt their economy, which also would disrupt companies because many investors would be concerned about another war in Ukraine. So anytime Russia just feels like being shitty to Ukraine, they just need to do a buildup. They can also disrupt food supplies. They can disrupt operations that take place on the high seas or in the Black Sea. There's cyber attacks. There's um, kidnappings, assassinations. There's so many things that Russia, if they lose on the battlefield, will continue to be a thorn in Ukraine's side. And that is only going to change if the regime in Russia becomes not of the Putin slash Soviet KGB slash Stalin-like thinking that we see in the current regime. It would have to be a complete 180 to a pro-democracy or at least a far less warmongering, ambitious leader, and by ambitious I mean a leader wanting to take territory in and using the former Soviet Union in all its glory, quote unquote, uh, as the baseline for that, which means they would want to regain all the lost territory they lost during the Soviet Union. So this idea that Putin is this reincarnate of former czars and Stalin is prevalent not only with him, but any kind of lackey that he is bringing up or any kind of protege that may replace him. He has a myriad of people that surround him that think very similarly to him, and he's done that by design. So if there is going to be a change where Ukraine is going to be absolutely safe, well, nothing is absolute, but if Ukraine's going to be safer, or we're going to go or we're going to resume re revert back to the pre 2014 status quo then it will require a regime change the the echoes of putin let alone putin himself would have to be completely eradicated from the kremlin and i just i don't see that happening in any meaningful way anytime soon so ukraine may win on the battlefield but the war would be far from over. It would be largely a long-term belligerent major country trying to effect outcomes, whether, like I said, through cyber, et cetera, of a smaller country. So it's, it's going to be a really tough time for Ukraine, even if they can have parades and victoriously walk around saying they won the war. Or the, it, it just means that that facet of the entire war was won for them, so.